everybody, we are live at AHS, Nina Mason Pulliam Campus for Compassion with Nick. Nick is our canine welfare specialist, and today we're going to give um, each of our dogs a little enrichment. This is kind of what we consider enrichment. They're little bits of treats and puzzle toys and just things that are different um, for our dogs and, you know. A lot of frozen good, things too. You'll to. see us freeze a lot of things because that takes longer. It's good for the... For the hot weather, um, we'll use some uh, toys that will, you'll, you'll see me actually put some uh, treats in there. So the dog has to kind of snuffle in there and get the treats. This is a snuffle mat. So I'll put some treats in the dog there and the dog has to kind of work through, find the treats in the snuffle mat too. Cool. How you doing? And it keeps them stimulated and happy. Here, here. chicken in there and we froze it. It's just in a rubber tire. Dry food mix in there, topped off with a little bit of canned wet food, wet food to cover the holes. Once the holes are open, it'll fall out, and it's frozen as well. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? some dry food in there and some chicken broth to make it pretty yummy. We'll see if Blitz is into it. See, it really slows her down. She has to really take her time. It's frozen broth in there too, which will slow them down. Kongs are really good for dogs that eat fast. It slows them down. This is Kong with some food and a biscuit kind of jammed in there. And again, it's frozen. Anything frozen will slow the dog down too. Snuffle mats, you put their food in the snuffle mat, it slows them way down too. Cool. Oh, what about Petunia? So Petunia was featured on our Facebook page last week. People seem to love her, but she's still here. She's a sweetheart. Look at her waiting so good. So you can use uh, cardboard, uh, paper, we use egg cartons, paper towel rolls, um, toilet paper rolls. And we'll, what I did is put some uh, high value. I got some hot dogs in there froze it. I'm going to close it up. So she kind of has to figure out how to get her food out. So let's see how she how good she is. You want to try? So what do you mean by high value? High value is uh, like meat, meat based, meatballs, chicken, hot dogs. That's what we consider, consider high value. The good stuff. We use uh, a lot of baby food here. Oh. And um, meat, meat based baby food. We use uh, sardines. Dogs really like that. We have uh, 
pink salmon just got donated to us. So we have that. We also have uh, canned chicken. So all of that's all of that's high value. And you see, she's kind of working through. She kind of has to figure out how to how to get the food out. And in the beginning, I might make it a little easier for it by just putting treats on it. So in the beginning, she's a little shy in general. So it helps her. Tell she's excited. it takes them a while to try to, to figure it out. So that's what enrichment is. It's not something that they just uh, can figure out right away. They have to problem solve and that takes a little time. She knows her food is in there, she just doesn't know how to access it yet. So that provides a lot of stimulation. Oh, and then smalls. Yeah, she's going to town on it, figuring it out hopefully. Oh, good. Here's Browsy. So sometimes some of the smalls, uh, you know, we have ice cube trays, so we'll freeze little ice cubes. This is, um, I'll use some wet food maybe, uh, a lot of chicken or beef broth, dilute the broth, low sodium. But a lot of the smalls, I usually get sometimes a little bit smaller treat. Mm -hmm. So these are all things that you can pretty much do at home. Definitely, I mean, all of this stuff. Broth, all of this cubes. stuff you can you can do at home. Um, paper towels. Again, we have all of that stuff stuff at home. I always call it like low cost enrichment with high end results. Anything just to give them a little bit more stimulation throughout the day. You can take a Kleenex box that's empty and put a Kong in your Kleenex box mm -hmm. and then cover it with newspaper so they have to kind of dig in there and, and get out their Kong too. Cool. And um, little Browsy took, uh, <laughs> took, <laughs> took her enrichment to outside. She wants to eat peace out there. Understandable. <laughs> it's gonna melt. So here's Darla. So with this, this is kind of two for one. This is this is a dog toy. It's a it's a looks like a tire. It's a rubber toy. And a lot of people say, well, my dogs don't play with toys. Well, no, it's they wouldn't if it was just boring with nothing filled in it. So how can we make the toy more exciting and active? I just took some I took some canned chicken and some uh, wet food. I smeared it in there. And then what I did is I took a ta a paper towel roll, and I shoved it in in there too. So she's actually got two tiers of enrichment and the paper towel is folded up and it's got some food in it. So let's see what she thinks about this. So why does she get two tiers of enrichment versus one? Um, just kind of showing that you can make enrichment a little bit more challenging. Mm -hmm. Way to do it is to, is to kind of double up or, you know, put a Kong inside a box or, or a toy just to make it a little bit more challenging. Okay. Or some of the higher energy dogs, the more active dogs, mm -hmm. we should double up because <laughs> they've got double the energy. Right, okay. So yeah, that's Darla. Tail's wagon. Yeah. Good girl. Tail's wagon, she's figuring it out. And eventually she'll figure out how to pull out that paper towel roll. Okay. And, and see that there's food in there. Enjoy, girl. really provides stimulation, mental stimulation, and keeps the dogs quiet, tires them out. What does honey want? Mm. So, with honey, there's another way that we can do, actually I'll do that with a small, is this is just, again, a Kong that's, that's frozen, that has, um, it's a little more challenging to get, get it out so the food doesn't roll out right away. They really have to kind of work for it. Some dogs will throw it up, toss it around. So 
first she has to kind of access how to get out the biscuit to make the other good stuff fall out. Okay. Shelby's a little bit more nervous with the enrichment. She needs a little more confidence boosting. So I might just, I love to use this, the canned cheese, the spray cheese. I might do some cheese whiz. I might just put it on the ground floor. Ooh, it squirts out. <laughs> so see each it, of these dogs, she likes that. each of our pets, uh, these little enrichment activities are really tailored to who they are. Uh, like Mike was just saying, Shelby needs a confidence boost and maybe isn't as comfortable taking a big treat. But little by little, she'll kind of build that up and in the meantime, enjoy your cheese. Sometimes I'll put it on the bar. And it keeps, for the shyer dogs sometimes if they tend to hide in the, in the back and not come forward when a human approaches, I'll do some of this cheese on the kennel door just to kind of keep them at the front and go, oh, good things happen at the front, so maybe I should stay at the front when a, when a human appears. So and she seems to really <laughs> like it. She's going to town. So I might I'll put up just a little bit more. Sometimes it squirts out. There we go. <laughs> Getting all those little dips. <laughs> Good girl. Good job. Bubbles, you're waiting so patiently. So this is one, these buckets you can get at dollar stores. Anything that's like a little pail or a bucket, these are great too that, that hold enrichment. These kind of pails are great. Uh, my boss got me all of these at the dollar store. So again, it doesn't cost that much. You don't need many. These are just different sizes. One's a little smaller, one's a little bigger. So with this, you just freeze it and then pop it out of its bucket. And in here is just a bunch of uh, some moist and meaty food, dry food. There's another, there's like a little bully stick kind of kind of wedged in there. And we'll see if Bubbles likes this one. So when you're freezing these, sometimes you have to do them in the layers, right? Yes. <laughs> the bottom layer is one thing, you have the yeah. cross and the bully stick, that's just... Usually with the, with the bucket. Put in some moist and meaty, put something in the bottom, then put some diluted broth, and it just kind of all puts some more food in it, just kind of mixes it all together. Some goes, the, some sit and go to the bottom, some kind of stay up top. You can see the tail wagging, they, they really enjoy the enrichment. And she's still going to try to get her talking to us. We can try this with Pearl. What I'll do is, um, we'll see if she likes toys. Sometimes dogs aren't, don't get engaged in toys either because they're not live, they're not moving, but this can become more exciting toys. You can get your dog into toys. You actually stuff some treats in there. I am using high value. I do use high value to start to get the dog into the game. And high value is just their sense of smell is 10,000 times greater than ours. So they can really smell the, the treats through, through the toy too. So I leave it open a little bit. So she can kind of see what's in there. And then I might leave it just see if I can.
two dogs in the kennel. I, I don't want to put one in Richmond or two in Richmond's area without any supervision because some dogs may not want to share their food. So there's a couple things that I'll do in that case. I might each give them an ice cube. So I might give one here. Sure about her. Food. Not quite sure about her food. So this is Gemma and Emma. These two are buddies, and they're just about the cutest things. Look at them. So for her, I might give her a little bit of cheese. Scoot over here. So you can see they both want the kind of the same thing. So I want to try to get one over here, and maybe one over there. That way you can kind of feed them separate. Dogs seem to really like the canned spray cheese. This is from Kong. This one is a, what I did is a two tier. This doesn't have any enrichment in it, but it holds this enrichment in there. It's uh, the cheese smear, canned smear, some chicken, but it's the dog just has to figure out kind of how to get the tire out of the top. So we'll see if Ladybug, what she thinks of this one. We get a lot of these donated. I see these a lot. They're from Kong, and people say, "Well, my dogs don't play with this bone." We'll make it exciting. You can just stick some things in there that sh that stick out of the hole. And again, I just did a, a schmear with with something frozen. Yeah. <laughs> you, so you can see she wasn't really interested in the first one until she saw what was inside. So now you're kind of building up her her want and her need right. for enrichment. Right, her drive. Even drive to get into toys or to play with toys or interact with toys. That one like a charm. Yeah. It's like, thank you, Nick. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Everybody's quiet now. So if you want, we can head over to Green. Mm -hmm. And I strung up a frozen enrichment in Rocket's room. And we can go see if he is excited about his enrichment on a rope. Cool. <laughs> nice and quiet in here. Yeah. And she's, I like when they put their paws on their con to kind of hold it in place. Yours forever. <laughs> Till we fill it again. <laughs> right. Rocket is our high energy boy. He's a pit bull. He's great, super great. Be a great dog to, for someone to get. He loves to work for his food. He loves to train. He loves to be around his pe people. He just has so much energy. So a way to kind of redirect that energy is to just give him lots of stimulation in, in his room too. <coughs> well, let's see. So here we've strung up an enrichment, I just used some string. And what I did, again, that was a, it's a green dog toy with dents in it. And it's got some schmear, some canned schmear that's frozen. Rocket's waiting outside so patiently.
laying down. And it moves around, so provides a little, it's a little bit more challenging because it kind of moves around and away from him. That's cool. Sometimes it'll move up and down on the string too. And he's one happy boy with his, with his attachment. <laughs> and get his little smears out of the little holes how the ball is strung up. You can do that, you can see um, what he's figuring out is to squeeze the ball so the enrichment drops out. He's like, oh, he's figuring it out. There it is. dog's area and I'll show you uh, macaroni Mick is his name named after the great Mick <laughs> and I, this side is unlocked sorry we're gonna have to go around there so what we do is use a plastic pool and we put some plastic balls in it and what I'm going to do is put high, some high-value food. Some high-value food in the pool, and the balls are going to cover it. So, then, for those who don't know, this is our behavior building. Um, this building is filled with the dogs that we're working on, getting to know a little bit better before um, we find out what kind of home is best for them. These guys are still being worked with. Um, by the behavior team. And macaroni Mick is in this blue building because he's recovering from an FHO surgery. He is on the website. We are looking for a foster home for him. Ooh. So he's... <laughs> so what we might do is do it in his run or down here further. Okay. Just... <laughs> and I'm going to put this... What I do is take high value. And I put some treats in there. So on the bottom, he kind of has to, to fish for the treats. And he's watching me, huh? What do you think? So I put a hot dog and meatball. But you can actually, at home, you can use their dry food. A lot of times, we don't want to feed out of bowls. It's the, the only way to feed your dog using their, their, their food, their dry food, whatever you eat, is in some kind of puzzle. Okay. Let's see how good he is. This is macaroni mix. So you can put anything in there to cover up your treats. Taking his time. Using his nose, kind of figuring out where are the treats. Under which balls are the treats? Is it the pink ones? Is it the green ones? Is it the blue ones? So when you do these enrichment activities, um, you try to simulate all the senses. Definitely. So this one would be more of the scent driven one? Yep. Using his nose to find the treats. We also do... He's carried him outside. Oh. <laughs> hey, right here. So I don't want my treat outside the pool area. A lot of times we'll use a sense too. So we'll use like... Um, uh, some dried scents, uh, let's say parsley or anything like that. 
loaves, anything, and we'll put put a bunch of toys in a bag, and we'll scent it with a dry scent. We'll shake it up, and we'll put that. <laughs> he likes the ball. <laughs> We'll, we'll shake it up and we'll scent the toys with a different scent and then we'll put it in the dog's room just to kind of give them something else to smell so we're stimulating their sense of smell that way. So, or we'll take a, uh, we'll spray their bedding with maybe some lavender or some vanilla or some coconut just again so it just enriches their sense of smell too. We do a lot of bubbles here too. We have bubble machines, super cheap bubble machines. You can get them at Walmart. You can um, carry it and, uh, and go from kennel to kennel. The bubbles go out. And they might go in the dog's room and they love to either watch it, it just provides enrichment, or they try to, try to grab at it too. Especially puppies. Puppies really love to play with bubbles. So again, all these things can be done at home. Um, but I've heard you say before, the key to enrichment, something along the lines of, you know, you can't do it every single day, the same thing every day, right. it has to it's, be switched up. Exactly. It's not enrichment if it's the same thing every day, so you do want to mix it up. If you feed out of a Kong one day, feed out of a puzzle feeder the next, or if you're using um, a different scent, use, use a different scent kind of every day to mix it up, so it still is enrichment for them. Still new and exciting. Yes. That's tired and he's tired looking at me. He's like, ah, oh, this is exhausting. Especially for dogs that are recovering from surgery, we want to try to, they can't get that physical stimulation. Hi. We want to provide them as much mental stimulation as Come we here. can. So we're gonna let Mick go. We gotta feed all the rest of the dogs with their enrichment um, treats and whatnot. So if you guys have any more questions, please feel free to post in the comments and we'll get back to you when we can. Uh, and I will also post the um, a link on our website to the dog training, different enrichment activities for you guys to view on your own and try at home. And we do have an enrichment uh, seminar that comes up. Uh, we just had one, so we'll be running some of those in the fall, so you can come and learn more about enrichment. And we also have a scent work class that I teach on Sundays that really teaches the dog to use their nose to find their source, which is food, up high, down low, in different objects, and outdoors. And that provides a lot of mental stimulation for your dogs, too. Very cool. All right, well, thank you guys for tuning in, and... <laughs> All right, he's already done. Thanks for tuning in, and we will chat with you soon.